Welcome to Postmortem, a channel dedicated to showing you the dark and twisted side of our very own world. We aim to provide you thoroughly researched knowledge about cases of crime, conspiracies, and other things that are just generally odd. In this first episode, we'll be discussing the mysterious case of the first and only person to be murdered at the South Pole. On May 12th, 2000, there would be a mysterious circumstance that took place in the lowest part of the world, in a research facility called Mudson Scott Base. A 32-year-old astrophysicist by the name of Rodney David Marks would meet his untimely end by the side of his fiance Sonia Walter. On May 11th, 2000, Marks would awake early that morning in order to take anti-acid medicine before returning to sleep. A few hours had passed before he would awaken at 5.30 that morning with sudden nausea and a case of vomiting that consisted mostly of blood, as well as having a hard time breathing. Marx would make his way to the biomed station that was in the base where the on-site physician, Dr. Robert Thompson, inspected Marx. This had been his second visit within a 24-hour period. Dr. Thompson would be unable to identify an underlying illness, but would ultimately link it to alcohol withdrawal. Marx said it had been a 38-hour period in which he had gone without a drink. He was dismissed from the biomed, but would return a handful of times. On one occasion, Dr. Thompson would take blood from his right arm. Walter stated by the time Marx went into the biomed to get Valium and oxygen that he was quote-unquote very agitated. Quote-unquote, he would not lie still and was breathing heavy. Marx was given a sedative through injection by Dr. Thompson, however, on May 12th, Rodney Mark's body finally gave in and he stopped breathing. Okay. Yep. Let's get into the theories. What you got for me? One of the theories is that uh, Doc Dr. Thompson was kind of in on this whole him getting poisoned thing and knew about it uh, and was trying to cover up the tracks of the person because Rodney had injection marks in his arm. Uh, in his right arm and he's right-handed so he wouldn't be able to inject himself yeah that'd be kind of <laughs> just flip his arm backwards in order to try and yeah, stab yeah. himself he'd have to he'd have to break his own arm to do that and then you know um so like when he was given the sedative by dr thompson it said that he because dr thompson did admit that he used the same injection hole mm. as one of the injections which means like he could have used that to cover up the methanol with like the sedative yeah that's a bit weird to use more like the like, same like why why would you yeah why would you just use, use the, the same... other arm as well like you've got multiple appendages to stab why use the same hole yeah and like it was said that it was kind of an inside job um because like when uh rodney did pass away the the place that he worked for released a statement saying that he died from natural causes before they actually knew that he died okay <laughs> That's from weird. natural causes like because yeah. he wasn't he wasn't given an autopsy until he could be flown out of um the base because it, they were in the dead of winter yeah so that took know. a few months yeah, yeah so so the the winter lasts from um from like march to like october or something mm. so it's like a long period of time Mm. um for for him to be there and then like as soon as they found out that he passed away they released a statement saying you know it's from natural causes and when it got back to like new zealand for the actual autopsy they were like no nah, it was methanol poisoning mm. and like mind you it wasn't just like a small amount of methanol it was like a full glass yeah of methanol so there's that there's that and then it's just like other theories state that it might have just been on his own accord uh so like he might have um because he was known as an alcoholic kind of uh that he would drink heavily and be intoxicated all the time so someone thought like he might might have mistaken the methanol that was on his desk for alcohol when he was intoxicated which is weird because they'd be marked differently i feel as a obviously. scientist as well you wouldn't be able to make that much of a mistake even intoxicated plus you wouldn't put your methanol next to your alcohol i wouldn't think yeah and i like it, it was stated that um <clears throat> the person uh researching into uh the detective uh researching into rodney's death would say that like it wasn't 
it, it, there's like no possible way that it would have been suicide because um, Rodney was in love with Sonia and they were uh, like gonna get married mm. and they were, they were like stated as really lovely and lively couple that just mixed really well. Plus so. he was friends with literally everyone on the base and that we no know one, of. yeah, true, <laughs> <laughs> true, well everyone that gave statements said that he was loved by yeah, pretty well, much everyone on the base. By the time that they actually were, when they got the autopsy and they found out that his death wasn't actual natural causes like they thought because they thought it was going to be like a cardiac arrest or something like that, um, they actually <coughs> found out that it was methanol poisoning and then by the time they actually found this out, at the base, everybody had scattered to like all over the world because that's like people there were from all over the world. Yeah, everyone's going home to yeah, their families so people were going and such. Home. And, um, like, his room was cleaned, so anything that might have been, uh, like, evidence, and evidence stuff, yeah. was discarded as trash. Mm. Which doesn't really make sense, because I think if someone died at, the, at a base that they would quarantine off their room. Yeah. And it was said that Sonia used his room um, until the winter was over, which is, like... A little bit off-putting because yeah, it's like disruption of evidence and yeah. such and she like you don't know like he like anything could be in the air that she is sleeping in yeah and it could have been Sonia herself that did it, it. could have been yeah and she might have been getting rid of the evidence while she yeah. was in the room I just feel like it, you know someone died under circumstances that weren't identified that you wouldn't allow people into their room or around where they've been. Mm. Like their desk and stuff. Like his desk was repurposed and reused. Yeah. Just treat everyone as suspects. Until proven until, otherwise, yeah, you know? Yeah. Guilty and prov until proven in innocent. Yeah. So I just feel like that's a little bit odd. And um, in, one, uh, in one piece of research I did read that Sonia stated that he had a beer at dinner before he got sick, which means he wasn't um, going through withdrawal symptoms in the time period that he thought he was because he said that he was a 30, like, 8-hour eight, eight period of not having alcohol. So mm. if he had beer at dinner, then he wouldn't be going through alcohol withdrawal. Yeah. But it's it just feels like everybody's messages are mixed and Dr. Thompson is just weird at this mm. point and he's missing now yeah i was gonna say he's probably like we don't know where he is no like he's he's gone missing like no one knows where he is at the, uh, like at this point yeah. in time so it's just a little weird yeah disconcerting the fact that the doctor that used one of his other needle injections is now suddenly gone missing now that he has the chance to slip away yeah and i feel like that's going to be a violation of some sort of medical code yeah. Using, like, an injection site that is already on the person's, like, body. Yeah, plus, like, you might make them sick by using that injection hole. Yeah. Like, it it wasn't said that there was any, like, um, illicit drugs on the base. There, there's cases of people reporting, like, weed mm. and stuff like that. Um, but nothing, like, super hard, like, that you'd have to inject. Yeah. So I just feel like having two injection sites before you even get an injection is a weird circumstance. Yeah, and plus, like, if no one's going around doing hard drugs, literally, like, one of the only people that would be injecting people is the doctor, and the fact that he has multiple stab wounds just keeps leading towards the doctor, and I just keep pointing fingers to him. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to, like, put push him under the bus if he's like innocent yeah, if in this. he's innocent yeah. but like it just feels like all this evidence is stacked against him yeah and like i like i really do feel like there's some sort of code that's like don't use patients injection sites yeah just like common sense or something <laughs> and like he didn't state that there was injection sites until like after, after. the fact yeah he didn't even tell like sonia or anything like that which mm. is weird because like why wouldn't you tell his fiance? yeah why she's there or ask her how he got them. He didn't even ask him how he got them. He just ignored them. Yeah, he just, like, brushed it along. aside. Yeah. Which is, like, just weird. Mm. 
Yeah, most doctors would ask, like, hey, why is there needle punctures in your arm? And, like, get some sort of answer? Like, even if you're like, oh, don't worry about it, that just says to the doctor that it's personal. Yeah, and, like, there's just little things that don't really add up. Like, there was a machine in the uh, biomed that was actually used to identify thing traces within the blood of things that aren't supposed to be there. But at the time, it was, like, broken. And, like, apparently, according to, like, people within the base, they said that Dr. Thompson didn't want to get it fixed because, you know, it wouldn't be needed. Yet it was needed during this Yeah, moment. yet it was needed. Yeah. Like, it would have identified that there was methanol. And in, would have helped him. In Rodney's body. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like there's just too much evidence pointing at him, but... Plus the fact that he's gone missing now does not help him in this case of being innocent. Yeah, but there's, like, no real evidence that you can yeah, like pinpoint it. Yeah, there's no solid evidence, like, to make him the suspect, but there's also none saying that he's not, so... <laughs> Yeah, it swings both ways. But as like, it's just very frustrating that there's no solid evidence, and that if there was solid evidence, it's probably in the trash. Yeah, thrown away with all of his goods. Like, bye. don't need them. But this has just been a postmortem, you know. Yeah. Discussing the end of someone's life. That sucks. He died. Rodney sucks. I hate Rodney. <laughs> Rest in peace, Rodney. This was a postmortem of Rodney Marks, the only man to have died at the South Pole. Mm-hmm.